Fresh and clean. This looks like shape tape. This looks full coverage. You're coming home with me. Well, not you, but the newer, fresher version. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're playing with cosmetics that are free of disgusting ingredients like coal tar, which, ew, right? Like lead, formaldehyde, things that you probably aren't thinking are lurking about in your cosmetics because cosmetics look so beautiful and they're packaged beautifully and they're luxurious and they're meant to make us look and feel beautiful and I'm all about it. Obviously I love makeup so, so much, but I have been very intrigued in what the whole clean makeup movement is. You're seeing it pop up everywhere from the drugstore to Sephora. They have their own little stamp and honestly that stamp only only made things worse for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Like I was at Sephora and I see that little stamp that says, we are formulated without parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, silicones, I think silicones, less than 1% of synthetic fragrance. But then it says like really crazy things like formaldehyde releasing ingredients, coal tar, lead. I mean, like you, you look at this and you're like, wait, what? Because then you look at everything else in Sephora that doesn't have that little stamp and you're like, wait, what, the, what am I putting on my face? Oh my God. I recently eliminated heavy silicones and fragrance from my skincare routine. Just that. I didn't want to go crazy with it. I didn't want to like eliminate everything and just use coconut oil and sit in a corner with no makeup and like take it to a crazy extreme because let me tell you, I can find something bad about everything. And then there's a lot of contradiction as to what's safe, what's not. So it, it gets very overwhelming and I don't want to overwhelm any of you guys, but I wanna encourage you to explore and find things that might be alternatives that you love anyway, because I'm all about the crowd out method. That is how I adjusted my lifestyle as far as healthy eating. When I find things that I love, I tend to gravitate toward what I love. So I encourage you guys, whether it's makeup, skincare, your diet, Figure out what you love, enjoy, what feels good to you. For me, I freaking love watermelon. I can eat watermelon all of the time. So for me, I look at a banana and I'm like, ew, you know, which it has lots of sugar. So like I naturally am like, yes, winning, watermelon, juicy, hydrating, not as much sugar, so good. I love that I like the better thing anyway. Um, but my point is, you find things that you love in every category, you know? I love my green juices. I found an alternative to sodas, which is Zevia, and it's sweetened with Stevia. So I'm hoping to do that a little bit with my makeup, I guess, is the long story short. So let's dive right in. I have a couple of primers. I was surprised in Sephora when I saw the clean label on this one right here. This is the Silk Canvas from Tatcha. I've tried this before and I didn't like it. We're trying it again. Why? Because everyone loves it and the options out there are quite limited as far as a poor blurring, smoothing primer that has clean ingredients. And Tatcha actually, like they're, they are good. I'm just gonna go ahead and dig my finger in and kind of melt it down a little bit and smooth out my pores. All right, so that is doing a little smoothing. I'm really curious what would happen if I eliminated silicones altogether, which would be really, really hard to do because I love a good blur. I love that smooth look. There's a part that everything plays and I'm just kind of trying to figure it out, but it is very overwhelming. So I wanna say I'm not an expert on this. I would love to be. I'm going to do what I can to educate myself and you know, we'll kind of do this together. So this is feeling really nice actually. I am gonna use the 100% pure mattifying primer with seaweed collagen. I love this. I have been testing this out for a few weeks. I really love it. It is great for more combo skin if you want a mattifying element that won't make you crunchy um, won't dry out the skin. It has a lot of beautiful ingredients in it. And some of their products I have not loved, but 
this I love and it's making me want to explore more because when I see those beautiful skin caring ingredients, it gets me excited. Next up, we are gonna go in with this Josie Marin Vibrancy Argon Oil Foundation, which I have personally been very terrified to give a go because I normally do not like anything overly oily or super hydrating. This might be a total dud. I don't really know. I haven't been able to find a single foundation out there that is totally natural that I really, really love. I'm still working on that. But this one right here is gluten-free, paraben-free. It is cruelty-free. Everything here is cruelty-free. Uh, there's no synthetic fragrance. It's very simple. This one does have dimethicone in it. I'm okay with that. Again, I wanna remove it from my skincare routine, but a little bit in makeup, I'm not like totally losing my mind over. Um, and I'm not gonna be full like down one lane. I am still gonna be using all different kinds of makeup. I just hope to explore and find healthier options, you know? I was in Sephora and literally like everything that was natural was just like pushed in the corner in the back. And I was just like, um, why does this all like feel really boring and like pushed to the back? It was a little disappointing. I hope that more sexy, good for you cosmetics launch. Also, an additional hope I have for today is that my makeup ends up looking good because I am the idiot that decided to do this video where I'm testing pretty much all brand new products that might be awful and I'm going to like a really big <laughs> meeting right after this. So I always feel like, dang, I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna be like, hi, I'm the CEO of Halo and I'm just gonna be like, in the worst makeup ever, and they're gonna be like, oh, it's a beauty expert right here. <laughs> Come through natural makeup. Make me naturally beautiful, but also glamorous. <laughs> this is already kind of disappointing. Um, it feels really, really oily. It's very thin. It's evening me out. Like, can we get some like natural full coverage up in here. Like, can we, can that, can someone make that please? You know, I am going to be testing out the Lawless eyeshadow palette and I'm really excited to test that one out. I love Lawless liquid lips. They are so, so good. Whether they were natural or not, like that's how I want to measure it. Like those liquid lips are so beautiful and the colors are so gorgeous that even if it was like, talc, synthetic this and that, I'd like be like, okay, Dior, like bring it to me. Like, it's like, it's that good, you know? Anyway, so I have tried that from Lawless. The foundation from Lawless, I've worn twice. I'm trying to figure it out. It is very, very oily, which is not my thing. I like to look more velvety and mattified. So I'm playing around with it. I'll let you guys know if I figure something out, you know? Also, I really wish that I had not given my Lawless powders away. I'm gonna repurchase them because powder is something that is so freaking hard to have beautiful without talc. And I don't think I gave it a fair enough chance. And ever since like the Sicily powder irritated the crap out of my lungs, I am made very aware of how much I am breathing in, which is where these ingredients get very questionable. It's more so if you were to eat it or breathe it in and have it affect your lungs, like that is not good. So powder is one of those that actually is super, super important to figure out a more natural option. And I wanna, so I'm gonna order some more Lawless stuff. You guys, I look like I just left spin class. This is like so oily. I'm just gonna kind of let that melt into the skin a little bit more. We are also gonna take this guy right here. This is Hint Beauty. This is the Perfecting Concealer Duet. And I really, really like this. I've only used it a couple of times. It's not heavy coconut. So if you've tried RMS Beauty and you want something that is not gonna break you out because a lot of people break out from coconut, uh, this and in like a thicker formula like this. I believe coconut's gonna be in most of your liquid foundations that are natural, but this one is more jojoba oil, castor oil. Ooh, this is like coverage. Yes, this is what I needed. Yeah, see this I can do with. You know what else I'm gonna do? Oh my God, I'm gonna be lunatic in this video. I'm gonna take the Josie Maron concealer that is more pigmented as my foundation. Do a little of this business. This will give me more coverage. I really wish I had a tissue. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? 
And this can help like if you have a foundation that is way too dewy and it is not sinking into the skin, take your beauty blender, put it around ideally a tissue, not a paper towel, but I'm not prepared, so <laughs> forgive me. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp off a little bit of that excess oil and then go in and kind of re-blend. Up next, I am going to take this foundation from Kajir Wise. This is very expensive, made in Italy. This is more of your luxury natural beauty. I purchased this at the detox market and I'm going to use this to contour. So I am very, very lightly and sparingly going to just kind of hit right in here. It's very intense, so I'm not bringing it all the way down. Blending will kind of bring it down a little bit itself. I'm gonna stamp underneath my chin and whatever excess is left here, I'm going to kind of tuck right at the hairline and just start to blend and warm this area up. All right, we are headed in a good direction. I really like this. So now what I wanna do is set my under eye. I'm gonna take a mineral foundation. This is from Eve Lom. This is talc free. And I am going to set this. I'm just gonna kind of get a bunch tucked in this brush. And then I am gonna take this powder from 100% Pure. Honestly, I don't love this powder. I just have not yet found an alternative to set my makeup that I love, love, love. I am going to bronze the perimeter of my face using the 100% Pure bronzer. This is $37, that is really up there in price, but again, the ingredients will so wow you if you go to their website. I love how they lay it out. I love the color of this bronzer. I have been playing around with this quite a bit, so I do really enjoy it. It's very buildable, it's very rich. I believe they have three different shades available. And there are a few Walgreens in their, you know, boutiques, like the Look Boutique, I think it's called, uh, that sell 100% pure. And before we move to eyes, I wanna just pop something on my lips because my lips are kind of driving me insane. You guys know I hate that feeling. So I'm gonna take this from Juice Beauty. This is totally clean. Like this is great, great as far as formulation and ingredients go. This is interesting. This is like a gloss stick. Like it has such a high amount of gloss and oil feeling to it. I like it. I don't love the scent of it. I picked this up when I was shopping with Erica and I noticed that a lot of the Juice Beauty was on sale at Ulta. So I was like, hey, I'm getting into clean makeup. Like what a better time I'm gonna try this out. So on top of that, I'm gonna pop on their gloss in Bikini. I thought this was a really pretty shade. This is just melting outside the line though. I don't know that I can do that. I don't know how I feel about this. It's a little bit too Dangerous. Maybe let's try something else. Okay, let's try. I have this lip gloss from Bite Beauty, which Bite Beauty uses a lot of food grade ingredients, meaning if you lick your lips, you eat the product. Not that you wanna be eating a tube of lipstick, but you know, you're eating food and you are licking your lips and this is your mouth and you are ingesting a lot of the ingredients that you do put on your lips. So this is another important area to be more mindful of. So. They use really good ingredients. And I saw this and I was like, ooh, like beautiful nude. Yeah, that's a little bit thicker. I need that. It smells nice too. Ooh, let's move on into a little bit of blush, just a tiny little bit of blush. I'm gonna go into this Better Naked Fruit Pigmented Palette from 100% Pure. Not the biggest fan of this one though, I mean, it's okay, I just, I would like to find a better blush option. You know, my skin looks really good. Like, I, 
I like this. I think this looks really, really nice. I'm excited to try out this palette. I'm so excited. This is the one from Lawless Beauty. Look how gorgeous these colors are. Normally you stroll into Whole Foods or the clean makeup section and it's like, ew, boring, like nothing fun. And this is so fun. I really think there are a lot of very user-friendly colors in here. I'm gonna take Hint Beauty as my primer. I'm just gonna grab it the way I would my MAC paint pot and I'm going to stamp this all over the lid. And I'm gonna take a crease brush and I am first gonna go into the shade Complicated. Wow. That blended out really nicely with very, very minimal effort. Huh, these shadows are really easy to work with. I'm really surprised. Wow, okay, I mean, I could be like mascara little brow out the door. This is really beautiful. I'm gonna take that yellow shade Butterflies and I'm just gonna kind of graze this right above, kind of in the high crease. I'm gonna take the shade Obsessed just with my fingertip and kind of pat this near the outer corner. Then I'm gonna take the shade Casual, again with my fingertip, you guys know how I do and I'm just going to pat this on the inner corner. This is like so soft. I love this and surprisingly, there really isn't any fallout. It's very, very strange. I'm gonna take a small flat brush. This is a Sigma E56 and I'm gonna take the shade Play Cool just on the very, very outer edge of my lid. I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and just drag it right kind of on the lower to meet this area up. What's really nice about these shadows is they're very easy to manipulate. If you wanna blend it, it will blend very easily. It's moving around the way I want to. It's not fluffing everywhere. It's really nice. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Crushing and just kind of pop that in the center. I am also going to take a very tiny brush like so. This might be dangerous. I'm gonna take just a hit of Play Cool and Complicated and really make sure I have all of the excess off of my brush. I just want there to just be like a kiss of color on my brush. I'm kind of blending those two together. And then what I'm gonna do is contour my nose. I'm gonna use the shade First Base and a little bit of Casual, and I'm gonna use this as my highlighter. All right, I'm gonna take the shade Plunge, which is just a black shade right in the corner here, and I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm only gonna start about halfway out and just kind of press this and stamp it. Right, so my natural uh, no liner liner look just kind of possessed me. It, this just like happened. I did not plan for this to happen. It just happened. We're just gonna move right along. Okay, I'm gonna attack the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with complicated first on a small little brush and just smudge away. I really like this. I have to say I am pleasantly surprised. I thought I would like it, but I like it more than I thought I would like it. I'm gonna take the shade Feels, which is a nice kind of rusty orange, and I'm going to focus that more in the center. I really love doing a pop of that shade right here. It just kind of warms my eye color up and helps blend everything out. And if you see the lighting change in this video, I do apologize so much. I'm having an issue. The sun is just like going behind a tree and then coming back out and then cloudy and like, I don't know. I'm having lighting issues. I'm gonna be fixing that soon. All right, so now I look crazy because I don't have any brows on at all, but I do have a pretty cool brow product to try out. This was recommended to me by Sue, 
at Macy's <laughs> inside the Blue Mercury section. And she was kind of pointing me in the direction of like, oh, you're looking for a more natural, you know, paraben, phthalate, cruelty-free, those kind of brands. She's like, this one has a really great brow product. And she did not hold back either. Like she actually saw some of the stuff I was buying. She's like, we have a good money back guarantee. I think you'll be back. Like that one is actually not that great. And I have to say, I appreciated that kind of honesty so, so much. Um, she steered me in the right direction with a lot. So shout out to Sue. All right, I am going to now take this Loon and Aster brow product. This is the Dawn to Dusk Brow Pencil in Universal. This reminds me a lot of the Dior Universal. This is made in Japan, has kind of a similar feel. And this is gluten-free, paraben-free, vegan. I'm just gonna kind of graze this through the brow. It's a weird shape on here though. All right, you guys, we are in the home stretch. I have a mascara I wanna try out. This is a more expensive mascara as far as clean beauty goes. Hello, come on. The trouble with clean mascaras is, you can't get them out of the box. Um, the issue for me has been that they smudge. Oh my God, I really can't get this out of the packaging. So this is highly recommended. I went to the detox market and the gal there said this was a fantastic mascara. What I'm gonna do now is load up my lashes. And because we're using such rich makeup and it is natural, I think we're all curious to see how it wears. So I am going to check in with you guys at the very end of the day. And we will have a final look at how everything uh, took on the day. Overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really love the face makeup. I kind of wish I hadn't played around so much with smoking out the shadow into liner. I don't hate it. I don't love, love it. Um, as far as everything else, the brows, they're great. The mascara, if it holds up and stays looking like this, I'm in it. If it smudges everywhere, I'm running. So I think what we need to do now is just take on the day, see how everything goes, and I will see you guys many, many hours from now. Oh, I one last thing. I do have an oil control mattifying mist, and I do feel a little greasy, so I think we need this. Ooh, that's a nice mist. And I'm off. Hi you guys, so we're back and it is now the very end of the day. It's 9.30, I have been wearing this makeup not even 12 hours because I put it on at around 11 in the morning. This has not gone as planned. It's been pretty disappointing actually, so leave me your recommendations for clean beauty products for me to try, specifically powders. Oh my gosh, I have something I have to share. So the Eve Lom powder that I used to set underneath my eyes, I was like, it's mineral, like this looks pretty good. And then I noticed that it has bismuth oxychloride in it. And I'm like, wait, what, excuse me, hello? Uh, that was like the controversial ingredient in the James Charles palette. Actually, it's not just Morphe palettes or less expensive palettes, that's an ingredient that's in a lot. It's in NARS, it's in a lot of eyeshadows. It is a synthetic pearl pigment basically, and it has sharp edges. When it's formulated, it can potentially kind of scratch at the skin or irritate the skin in a very small amount. It's not like dangerous where we're like, oh my God. But if you do have acne prone skin, sensitive skin, that's probably an ingredient that you don't want on your face. On your eyes, like jury's out if it is going to make you have an issue. I don't know, I've never had acne on my eyelids, so I'm not really concerned with that. And I usually don't have a huge irritation issue with eyeshadows. But anyway, I was kind of like shocked. I was like, wait, huh, what? I need to find a good mineral powder that doesn't have um, bismuth, evil bismuth. Okay, it's the end of the day. I've had a very, very long day. I literally wrapped up my meeting drove home, I need to eat dinner, I'm losing my mind and I'm losing my voice. I've been talking a lot today um, and my foundation failed me. So here's the thing, I feel like I need better face makeup. I feel like the foundation did not do well. It was very oily and greasy and like I felt myself like during the meeting doing like, like this. So I didn't feel as confident as I normally feel with my other 
foundations. So I'm on a mission, it's a thing. I wanna find better formulated products. I would love to find a better powder. The 100% pure is not my fave. I need something heavy, like heavier, heavier powder that doesn't have crazy ingredients. If you have something that you know about that's great, please leave that in the comments below. The eyeshadow, although beautiful when I first put it on, I think I need to figure out a different primer because it did not last all day. It's creasing quite a bit, so I'm a little bit eh, eh, eh about it, but I love uh, Lawless lip colors. Like their lip products are so, so nice. And also ignore the swatches. They're pretty, like this is a very uniquely formulated shadow. I cannot emphasize that enough. I think it's really, really cool what Lawless has done. And I am going to explore that palette more. This was just the first test. Um, so all in all, I think, you know, the blush, the bronzer, all of that, like I can kind of like be cool with. The mascara actually didn't smudge. Oh my gosh, holly freaking Luya. Um, but the foundation, oh, can't a girl get a foundation without cancer causing ingredients? We all deserve so much better. I really feel that. So my hat is off to any company that is formulating in a way where they are removing even just a handful of these ingredients that are not great. So let's start there. If you enjoyed this video, give it the big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Ring the bell right here, ring it, it's so great. Actually, you won't ring it on the screen, you'll ring it below somewhere, but ring it so that you're notified of my upcoming videos. I love you guys. I know I always say that like 5,000 times at the end of every video, but I really do, and I appreciate you, and thank you for being here with me. I hope that you come back and spend time with me again in a future video. All right, you guys, that is it. Go have a good one. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.